Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs and I'm going to show you how to make a box. I um, am going to show you my process for making boxes so that you can make a box for anything that you have. I'll show you how you can determine the size um, to make this kind of box. I am using the new Autumn to Remember stamp set and coordinating designer series paper that you can find in our scrapbooking section on the Stampin' Up! website. All right, so inside my box are one of these full party cakes from Little Debbie. And when I got them home, I thought, wow, that's really big. I'm gonna have to design a box for that that has a lid, a bo box bottom and a box lid, okay? So to do this, get your grid paper. You really need grid paper, okay? Grid paper is gonna make a huge difference. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is put whatever it is you wanna make your box for on your grid paper. And then you're gonna draw a box around it to fit it in. You want it to fit just, just right, okay? Not too big, not too small. And then once you've drawn those lines, you're gonna measure it. This box is gonna measure three and three fourths by four and a half. Then take your treat or whatever, take your pencil, take your ruler and sit it next to it and then figure out exactly how tall you want your box to be. And I have figured that this needs to have two inch sides coming up. So this size right here needs to be two inches. So I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna draw two inches from both sides, okay? So we'll go out here and then we'll go two inches from this way right there. All right, and then I can draw the line up even with this one. So we've added two inches on each side to this measurement, okay, two and two. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the top and the bottom, two inches and two inches. Make sure I get that right. You know, let me use the bottom of my ruler. Make sure, two, yep, okay. And then you're just gonna draw that line over to meet those points as well, okay? So here and here. And up here, two inches, and you're gonna go all the way across like this. So this side right here, we measured four and a half and we've added two and two. So that would be four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and a half. So this side measures eight and a half inches. This side, we took, we had three and three fourths in the middle and we've added two and two, so seven and three fourths. So this side is seven and three fourths from here to here. So that's your box bottom, seven and three fourths by eight and a half, and we're gonna score it at two inches on all four sides. I'm gonna use early espresso cardstock for the bottom. And you're gonna get your Simply Scored out. And we're just gonna score two inches on all four sides. So one, two, three, four. Whoops, it didn't go all the way down, four. All right, you want to get your bone folder. Burnish those lines really well. And then grab your scissors. And I like to cut the corners off. So I'm gonna go from score line to score line on all four corners, cutting those score lines off, or cutting those corners off. Okay, then I'm gonna come down on the shorter side and I'm gonna snip those score lines to stopping at that horizontal score line. Okay. All right, now fold in everything like this and we're gonna put adhesive on these triangles that we have. And we're gonna fold them in to that side. Now I have a bunch of clothespins, little mini clothespins here that I use to hold my boxes closed until they are dry. You wanna make sure that the sides all meet the sides, so side and side right here. You don't want it sticking out like that. Make sure it's nice and square. And then we'll set that one aside to dry. Now let's make the lid. We're gonna start with that same base measurement, okay? Remember, this is the base measurement we started with, three and three fourths by four and a half. 
And you need to decide how far down you want your box lid to come. So this is, I've decided, going to come down a little more than a half, so one and a fourth. So then again, we're just going to come on here and we are going to measure one and a fourth to there and one and a fourth on this side. All right, so then we'll measure those lines up. And then we're going to do the same thing on the top and the bottom. So one and a fourth, one and a fourth. And you know, your grid paper has got these grid lines. So every square is a quarter inch. That kind of helps you. If you use this to design, then you can easy, easily count off your measurements using those grid lines. So one and a fourth and one and a fourth. All right, so we had three and three fourths. We're going to add one and a fourth and one and a fourth. So three, four, and five. One and a fourth plus three fourths is one, so that's six. And then we have one fourth left, so six and a fourth. Now here, we added four and a half, five and a half, six and a half, and then two fourths make a half, so that's seven. So seven inches this way, and six and a fourth inches that way. Okay, and we're gonna score it this time at one and a fourth. Now we're gonna do something a little bit different for the lid. We want the lid to just be a teeny tiny bit wider so that it'll slide down on our um, box. So in order to do that, I create a shim, and this is the amount of difference it's going to make on either side, okay? So it's not a whole lot. Uh, seven or eight post-it notes is what you need. Stick it over here on the side. I get the sticky side. And then, go around and measure or score at one and a fourth. So one and a fourth, one and a fourth, one and a fourth, and one and a fourth. All right, same process. Burnish those lines. Cut off your corners. And then, let me grab, get my little scissors. It's a little bit easier when your paper is smaller. Cut those score lines coming up from the bottom. And then, once again, we're gonna fold those in, add some glue. Get your trusty clothespins. Now you can make this box any color, uh, any using any pattern paper if you need a Christmas box. This will be great during the holiday season if you find some treats or a small gift you want to make a box with. You'll know how to do it. All right, we're going to set that aside to dry and let's make the tag. All right, for the tag, I'm going to use um, a very vanilla um, greetings of the season tag. Okay, and I'm going to stamp the sentiment from the Autumn to Remember in Cajun Craze, Bountiful Blessings. Then I'm going to take that little leaf also from that same stamp set, and I'm going to add some leaves to the, to the, around the edge. Then I'm also going to stamp off and add some leaves that are lighter. Do one more darker one like that, okay? Now let's add a little bit of fun, some adhesive back dots. These are our faux glass dots. I really like these. I think these are my favorite new embellishment from the holiday catalog. We'll add two here on the bottom and we'll just add one up here like that. All right, let's close up our ink pads and get our box put together. All right, take your clothespins off. There's our treat. And then the true test, we're gonna put this right down onto our box and it slides down perfectly. All right, now, get your uh, designer series paper. And since this box lid was 
Remember, the box bottom part was three and three fourths by four and a half. You want to make your designer series paper either an eighth or a quarter of an inch smaller on each side. And you put that right there. I'm going to use our new wild wheat ribbon to hold it together. And let's trim those off like that. And we'll tie this on with some twine right here. <laughs> I thought, oh no, it's gone, ro it's rolled away. I'm going to use some very vanilla baker's twine. And we'll just tie this onto our ribbon and then we're done. I hope you guys will give this a try. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube. I've got several other uh, projects featuring this new, these new products, the paper and the stamp set. Um, and there's a free PDF with measurements and a supply list. All right, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Let me know if you have any questions and have fun stamping. Bye everybody.